Did Dr. Thomas help you last night? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Did you, uh, what did you guys talk about? Things. Lots of things. Yeah, like? AJ. Like AJ, huh? Did you tell Dr. Thomas that you killed AJ? She did bad things. He told lies. I hate him. Did you get mad at him? I didn't mean to. You didn't mean to get mad at AJ? I just didn't mean to. What did you do, Michael? You taped Michael's session? It's standard procedure. No, it's not. Not in Michael's case. If you want to continue treating him, you will destroy that tape and any others that you have made. You're afraid that I'll give them to the police as evidence that Michael killed A.J. Quarterman. I didn't tell Dr. Thomas that I killed A.J. You told me not to. That's good. It's good that you remembered. Is it because that I'd get in trouble with the police? Mm, small part of it. What would happen to me... Do they have a prison for kids? No, buddy. You would, you're not going to prison, I promise. Will they take me away someplace where I'll never get to see you, Mom or Dad again? No, Michael. Nothing bad is going to happen to you. Your dad and I, you know, we want you to be quiet about what happened to AJ because we know that all you were trying to do was make the lies stop. And we get that you killed AJ by accident. But other people might not understand that. Michael's family would be appalled to know that you've been taping his sessions. Tapes are merely a diagnostic tool. I review them for insight into my patient's thoughts. A telling phrase, <clears throat> a shift of tone. The rest of the tapes, please. <sighs> All of Michael's sessions today. Thank you. Although I didn't need them to put the pieces together. Michael's feelings of guilt and shame make it clear that he's harboring some enormous secret and then of course there were your rather pointed questions regarding my position on doctor patient confidentiality so I have no idea what Michael is telling you I want him to be safe Look, I assured you then and I'll tell you now I have absolutely no intention of sharing my patients revelations with the police even if, if Michael were to reveal that he was AJ's murderer well I can't imagine him doing that Look. Michael's time with me has been very productive, Sam. We were on the verge of a breakthrough when Jason so abruptly terminated our Jason session. Jason is trying to protect And Michael. in the process, maybe hurting him more. You know, maybe Michael should take a break for a while. You'd be doing Michael an enormous favor if you'd explain to Jason that Michael needs to be in therapy for his own emotional survival. By, by encouraging him to, to cover up the truth, Jason could be doing the boy irreparable harm. I'll have to think about it. Sam, I honestly believe that I can save Michael. But I need your help to do it. The truth is, you're Michael's best advocate. His parents are distracted by personal matters, and Jason's own experience with therapy was, well, less than successful. You know, um, we all just want what's best for Michael. I treated Jason after his injury. His cognitive limitations must make it incredibly difficult for him to empathize with Michael's pain. Jason is very sympathetic to Michael. Jason confides in you, doesn't he? <sighs> yes, of course he does. He trusts me. Enough to overcome his own misgivings and let Michael continue therapy? Well, I think if I can convince Jason that therapy would be helpful for Michael, then yes, I do think that he would agree. So you'll speak with him.